what is a balanced chemical equation a chemical equation in which the number of atoms of different elements on the reactant side that is left side are same as those on product side that is right side is called a balanced chemical equation now let us learn about how to balance the equations write the chemical equation and balance it calcium hydroxide reacts with nitric acid gives us calcium nitrate and water let us write the equation for this chemical reaction calcium hydroxide plus nitric acid gives rise to calcium nitrate plus water now write the chemical formulas for these terms caoh twice plus hno3 gives rise to cano3 twice plus h2o let us assume all these four terms as a b c d respectively that is caoh twice as a hno3 as b cano3 twice as c h2o as d now we should identify which atoms are there in this chemical reaction those are calcium oxygen hydrogen and nitrogen for calcium there is one atom in a on left side is equal to one atom in c on right side that is a is equal to c let us say this is equation 1 for oxygen there are two atoms in a and three atoms in b on left side is equal to six atoms in c and one atom in d on right side let us say this is equation 2 for hydrogen there are two atoms in a and one atom in b on left side is equal to two atoms in d on right side that implies 2d is equal to 2a plus b this is equation number 3 for nitrogen one atom in b on left side is equal to two atoms in c on right side that is b is equal to 2c let it be equation number 4 now we have to find the values of a b c d for that we take a equals to 1 equation 1 represents a equals to c if a equals to 1 then c equals to 1 now equation 4 represents b equals to 2c if c equals to 1 b is equal to 2 equation 3 represents 2d is equal to 2a plus b if a equals to 1 and b equals to 2 then d equals to 2 put all these values of a b c d as coefficients of the terms in our chemical equation we get the equation as caoh twice plus 2 hno3 gives rise to cano3 twice plus 2 h2o this is our balanced chemical equation now let us see an example magnesium plus hydrochloric acid gives rise to magnesium chloride plus hydrogen first of all we write the chemical names of these terms mg hcl mgcl2 and h2 the chemical equation is mg plus hcl gives rise to mgcl2 plus h2 let us assume all these terms as a b c d that is mg as a hcl as b mgcl2 as c and h2 as d now we should identify the atoms in this equation those are magnesium hydrogen and chlorine for magnesium there is one atom in a on left side is equal to one atom in c in right side that implies a is equal to c let us this equation number 1 for hydrogen there is one atom in b on left side is equal to two atoms in d on right side that implies b is equal to 2d this is equation number 2 For chlorine there is one atom in B on left side is equal to two atoms in C on right side this implies B is equal to 2C this is equation number 3 now we have to find all these values of a b c d let us take a equals to 1 equation 1 represents a is equal to c that implies if a equals to 1 c equals to 1 equation 3 represents b equals to 2c that is If c equals to 1, b is equal to 2. Equation 2 represents b is equal to 2d. 
that implies d is equal to b by 2 if b is equal to 2 then d is equal to 1 put these values of a b c d as their coefficients of the respective terms in our chemical equation we get 1 into mg plus 2 into hcl gives rise to 1 into mgcl2 plus 1 into h2 that is mg plus 2 hcl gives rise to mgcl2 plus h2 this is our balanced chemical equation hope you understand this method try to balance this chemical equation and post in comment box below